ग्रेड लेवल साइंस रिविशन वीडियो टू नाउ फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो यू विल लर्न अबाउट वर्क एंड आल्सो एनर्जी वर्क एंड एनर्जी नाउ से यू अप्लाई a force of say 1 newton to this if you if you can pull this or if you can push it <coughs> if you can pull this or push it uh, by using a force of 1 newton with the force of 1 newton and also if you are moving this to a distance so say 1 meter if you are moving this body to a distance of 1 meter apply force apply this 1 newton distance is 1 meter work done is said to be 1 newton when the force of 1 newton is applied to a distance of 1 meter work done is actually said to be 1 joule joule is the unit of SI unit of work and also SI unit of international unit of energy also joule no? right. SI unit of energy also joule because now see you are doing uh, one joule of work when you pull this from here to here to a distance of one meter. Now actually for this you actually uh, you have to spend energy for this. You have to spend energy of one joule. You have to spend energy of one joule for this. Now if you are putting this with the force of say eight newtons then 8 joules work done is 8 joules if you are pulling this to a distance of say 2 meters then it will be 8 multiplied by 2 16 joules 16 joules now from this you know that uh, so you have to you have learned this in when you are in day 10 also uh, 16 joules is the amount of work done. Now, this is the force by which you are pulling this or pushing from here in this way, from this direction. The distance move. When you multiply the force by the distance move, so you will get the work done. 16 joules. Now, say if this is 10 newtons and this is 5 meters, then 10 multiplied by 5, 50 joules. 50 joules. The, the force, the, the distance. Right. Now, you can actually, by, by multiplying these two quantities, you can get the answer. Now you know about the weight also, no? If the uh, mass of a body is 1 kilogram, its weight is 10 newtons. If the mass is 6 kilograms, weight is 6 newtons. Now you have revised this from our previous video, video 1. Now, if you are asked to find out the work done when you lift, when you raise or when you lift a body of mass 3 kilograms to a height of say 5 meters what should be the work done? 
what should be the work done. Now, man, you know the mass of the body, 3 kilograms, G is 10, therefore, weight of this body is 30 newtons. Weight of this body is 30 newtons. Therefore, you have to apply a force of 30 newtons. Not more than that. If you exceed this, what happens is, uh, it will be an unbalanced force. So therefore, you need only a force equal to this. The required force is 30 newtons to lift this. Height is 5 meters. Therefore, now multiply this two. Work done is equal to 30 newtons multiplied by 5 meters. This is the force that you apply. You have to apply. This is the height. Therefore, 150 joules. Now, what we have done is mass is 3 kilograms acceleration of gravity is 10 meters per second per second therefore the weight of the body 30 newtons you have to multiply this by the height which is 5 meters then we will get the answer as it is actually work done as 150 joules. 150 joules multiply mass by the uh, acceleration of gravity to find out the weight. The force is equal to this actually weight. Force that you need is actually equal to the weight and multiply that by the height. Then you will get the answer 150 joules. This is M, this is G, this is H. From by multiplying M by G and H also, you can get the answer. I mean, as a formula. You can use that formula as MGH work done. So this is actually for when you lift something, when you raise something. Not actually when you pull or push, right? When you pull the body or push the body, actually resistance force is actually friction. Here it is actually uh, a downward force that is very different. So therefore, now 150 joules of work has to be done when you lift this body to a height of to a height of 5 meters. Now work done is actually 150 joules. Therefore we know that you have spent for this, you spend uh, 150 joules of energy. When you actually, uh, you have to, uh, you have to spend this energy to do this work. You have to spend 150 joules of energy to do this work. Now, you know that uh, energy uh, can be neither created nor destroyed. Energy uh, actually is converted from one form to another form. When it is on the earth, actually, when it was on the earth and when it was at a height of 5 meters uh, height of uh, actually 
from this body, from this, from here to here by meter. You have to do, you have to spend, you have to spend in a year of uh, 150 joules. You spend 150 joules on this to lift this to a height of 5 meters. So that energy, so is actually that energy is converted into another form of that is when it is here we say that potential energy is 150 joules. Energy that you actually the energy that you spend to lift this is 150 joules. That energy is actually stored in this body when it is here as gravitational potential energy. When it is here on the earth, gravitational potential energy is zero. Now when it is here, gravitational potential energy is 150 joules. You actually, uh, now you have spent this energy to lift this. That energy has transformed or converted converted or transformed into gravitational potential energy of this body. Now, from our next video, that is video 3, we are going to, uh, you are going to learn more about potential energy and also kinetic energy from our next video. Potential energy and kinetic energy.